Nutella. Oh, mm -mm. Uh-uh, not my phone don't recognize my face. Hey there, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. I'm Samantha and if you like what you see thus far I would be honored if you hit the subscribe button ring the bell so you know when I upload and if you're feeling generous you can go on and throw in a thumbs up if you want to if not then you know you can wait till the end of the video as long as you get there and if this is not your first time seeing my face welcome back baby <laughs> Today's video is the beginning of a series on my channel that's specifically for the girls that want to explore makeup, but the overwhelming amount of products being shoved down your throat on a daily basis makes you break into a cold sweat every time you even walk past a Sephora. If that applies, <laughs> then this series is for you. Each episode of the series will focus on the very things that most makeup newbies have questions about when, you know, dip kind of dip in their toe in the makeup pond, if you will. With that being said, the very first episode of this series, this episode, <laughs> is gonna cover brushes and all the tools that you'll need to create a basic everyday face that's really pretty but isn't hard to do. Now I could just sit here for 10 to 15 minutes and just you know won't 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 talk about brushes which I mean sure you know there would be value in that sure but but I feel like because makeup is an art why not just show you how to use said brushes while I'm talking about them right? So if you're new to makeup and you're building your collection but you're not quite sure where to start when it comes to your tools and brushes, keep watching. So I always suggest brush sets to anyone who's just getting started with makeup because it's kind of a one hit or quitter type of approach when it comes to quickly accumulating all of the brushes that you're going to need. So the brush set that I'm talking about today is by BH Cosmetics and it's their signature rose gold brush set. Now, these are available at Ulta as well as on the BH Cosmetics website. And okay, so I have actually been a fan of BH's brushes for like a really long time. I think I first found out about BH uh, back when they like first kind of blew up. I think it was around like 2013. You don't have to spend a crap ton of money on brushes to be able to get some really good quality ones. Now this brush set is only $26. This is a 13 piece brush set. These brushes are cruelty free and vegan and it has brushes for all over the face. So as you can see, these are indeed numbered. So we're gonna go from brush one to 13. Okay, so for brush number one, this is the pointed powder brush. Now, I actually use this for setting powder. I use this for my powder blush, and I also use this for my powder highlight. Just be very careful and make sure that you pay very close attention to where you place the highlighter because the brush is bigger. It can get, you know, blown out and out of control so yeah just be careful with that if you're gonna choose one of these face brushes to use for blush i recommend using this one for blush because the application for this is going to be softer versus the number two brush which we'll talk to talk about in, the, in a moment but this powder brush you'll notice that this one is more rounded at the top and this one is flatter and flatter brushes are you know gonna give you way more coverage no matter what type of product you're using them to apply whether it's foundation powder blush highlight it's gonna give it whatever product you're laying down more opacity there we go. So for something like blush, you're going to want something that's going to have a more gentle type of application and the rounded tip of this brush is going to give you that. Okay. So now for the number two brush, which is the powder brush. <laughs> um, this one, I recommend that you 
use this for setting powder, like your loose setting powders or powder foundations. You could use this for liquid foundation too, but I, I won't confuse y'all <laughs> with giving you too many different uses. And just like when I was comparing this one to the number one brush, this is gonna give you more coverage with less product, if that makes sense. So your product will actually go a lot farther and your powder foundation will last longer because this is gonna maximize the amount of coverage for whatever amount of product that you're putting on your face. Okay, so the number three brush, which is the flat top brush, this one is gonna be your Kabuki style foundation brush in this set. This brush, because it is super densely packed, this is gonna give you a whole lot of coverage for a much smaller amount of product that you would need to get that same amount of coverage with something like a beauty blender or a stippling brush like this, like the dual fiber stippling brush. Please don't mind the fact that I need to wash some of my brushes, I know. Okay, girl, bye. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna give you ma the maximum amount of coverage for whatever amount of product that you put on. So if someone were to ask me what would be the brush that you would use to, in this set, to apply your foundation, it would be this brush. You can also use this to apply powder foundation as well. Like I said, it's gonna give you a whole lot of coverage. Matter of fact, even more so than this brush because this brush is, while it is densely packed, um, you'll see that it's not as densely packed as this brush. And by densely packed, I mean it's like, it's more bristles packed into the ferrule. The number four brush, which is the small contour brush. This brush is gonna be great for not just, you know, contour, like a, you know, cream or powder contour, but you can also use this to blend out your concealer. Um, I use the, I actually use this brush for a lot. I used it to blend out my color corrector. I used it to blend out my concealer. I used it to blend out my contour. Now, of course, cleaning the brush in between each of these. I also use this to uh, blend out my eyelid primer before I started filming. I didn't get any b-roll footage of that, sorry. <laughs> but this is gonna blend out like smaller areas on your face really, really well and give you like that airbrushed finish type of look. Okay, so for brush number five, now we're getting into the eye brushes. So we have the fluffy blending brush. So this one is gonna be perfect for crease colors, transition colors, even you know your smoky colors, uh, that sort of thing. This is gonna be amazing for that. Like this is literally perfect. It's also gonna be good for blending out cream products. So like if you have a cream eyeshadow that you like, especially like the really pretty metallic ones, this is gonna be fantastic for blending that out. You can dip it right into the pot and just blend it and diffuse it out on your eyelid and it'll look absolutely beautiful. This brush is pretty densely packed for a blending brush and an eye blending brush. So this is gonna, you're gonna wanna kinda be careful, especially if you're working with softer shadows like Anastasia shadows or like Makeup Forever shadows, Marc Jacobs shadows with a brush that it's densely packed like this one, you'll wanna be careful when working with softer shadows because this brush is gonna pick up a lot of product just because of how densely packed it is. And then also because it picks up a lot of product, it's gonna deposit a lot if you're not careful. So just, you know, exercise maybe a little trepidation, especially if you're a beginner with eye makeup, maybe one tap into your palette, tap off some excess and just build up slowly because this is one of those brushes where it applies color so well that your shadows can get out of control if you're not paying attention. So brush number six is going to be brush number five sister, the tapered blending brush. This brush is not as densely packed as the number five and it's a little bit smaller. The difference is like super slight. 
and it's not as densely packed. So what that means is that this one is going to be your real blender, like your, your brush that you will go in with no product on the brush and you just use it to soften lines and creases and make sure that everything is, you know, that smooth gradient that you want. And I use these brushes to create this look today and these brushes made it quite easy. I, I really have no complaints. <laughs> okay, and for the number seven brush, this is the flat shader brush. This this brush is like your, your average small concealer brush. Bristles on all of these brushes are synthetic, but because of the much smoother nature of the bristles of this brush. I wish I could explain it a little bit more, but basically what I'm trying to say is this brush is, it has the, the right bristles for wet product as well. So if you're a fan of cream shadows or if you use like the MAC paint pots as your eyelid, your eyeshadow primer, um, this is gonna be that perfect, perfect brush to use for those. So if you're trying to, if you're using it as a, you know, primer, um, and you want it to go on with some opacity because this brush is going to be the difference between um, the application for say this brush and the number five brush this one is going to be good for like your cream shadows that have a metallic finish to them and when it applies it it's going to actually blend it's going to blend out this you're literally just applying. This is more like a paintbrush. You can use this for your cream shadows, concealer, but you can also use it for dry products like powder eyeshadow as well. All right, and for the number eight brush, this is the dense shader brush. Now you'll notice between the number seven and the number eight brushes, the number seven brush, the bristles are longer than the number eight brush, but the number eight brush, just as the, the name of the brush suggests, this one is more densely packed. This one has more bristles packed into the ferrule than the number seven brush. And because of the fluffier nature of this brush, this brush is gonna be what you'll use for like your powder shadows and pigments. You can use this for wet products as well, but if you're looking for something that's gonna give like a precise application for wet products, you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna use the number seven brush instead because the smoother finish of the bristles on the number seven are going to give you more of a, a much smoother and more opaque application of cream products than this brush will. Okay, now for the number nine brush, this is the angled shader brush. So this brush, it has those same fluffy like ponytail type of uh, bristles that the number eight, the dense shading brush has, except as you notice, it's angled. This brush, you can absolutely use this for your eyeshadow. This is gonna be great for, like if you uh, wanna smoke out, you know, your outer corner, this would be a great brush for doing such. Um, but what I actually like using this brush for, it's perfect for contouring your nose. It is absolutely perfect. It's small enough to where you're not getting product, you know, all on your eyelids and all that stuff, but it's not super, super sharp and like too detailed to where, you know, you wind up looking like you should be on an episode of Botched. So this brush is absolutely perfect for getting, getting that nose contour and especially this this part right here and y'all know when i contour my nose that's the most important part to me i don't really care about trying to do anything down here because really i i like my nose but i lose my bridge the the minimal bridge that i have i lose it whenever i put makeup on so this really is just the part that i care about you know contouring the most and this brush is absolutely perfect for that 
All right, so for the number 10 brush, we've got the detailing pencil brush. Sometimes you'll also hear this brush referred to as a bullet brush. And what this brush is perfect for is like smudging out your eyeliner. You know, sometimes like when I'm doing makeup where I'm not trying to be, you know, <laughs> extra but you know I, I do want to make my eyes pop I'm good for smudging some liner or smudging some shadow over some liner and this brush is absolutely perfect for that all right so the number 11 brush which is the angled brow brush I mean this one is pretty self-explanatory i mean this this brush is going to be what you use to use dip brow or some other kind of brow pomade or if you're a brow powder type of person uh this this is the brush in the set that is designated for that however because the bristles on this brush are so soft you can also use this angled brush for gel liner as well. Or if you don't quite trust yourself with gel liner just yet and you know all you really feel comfortable with are pencil liners, you can apply your pencil liner and then use this angled brush to wing it out. Just an idea. <laughs> all right so for the number 12 brush we have the bent fine liner brush okay so this brush i don't know if uh any of you remember like 2013 where so many of the youtubers um had these bent liner brushes i remember i went and bought like five or six of these i had for my kit but so these brushes they make applying gel liners a whole lot easier they're desi best designed for self-application i i used to use them on my clients and they actually did make things you know quite easy but they are made for self-application reason why it makes it so much easier is because it gives you the opportunity to apply your gel liner but at the same angle as you would if you were applying say like a pencil liner so it gives you that user friendliness of using a, a pencil eyeliner but it gives you the opportunity to learn how to, you know, apply a cream or gel liner. I, I think it's really awesome that they have one of these in their kit. Alrighty, and for the final brush, brush number 13, it is the brow and lash brush, AKA a spoolie. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to mess up a spoolie. It's not like anybody cares for it to be super soft or you'll never hear anybody say, oh my God, this spoolie is like so plush. It's like wonderful. You'll never hear anybody say that. It's a spoolie. The head hasn't come off because the brushes are great quality. These brushes are really, really fantastic quality. I highly, highly recommend them to a beginner um, because it's a pretty comprehensive brush set and you even get a brush cup to, to keep them in. So then you're not having to find somewhere to keep your brushes or you don't have to worry about like losing them or anything like that because they give you a cute little patty to, to keep them in. I think this is a fantastic deal. I mean, it's only $26. You get a 13 piece brush set, which if it were just the brushes alone, okay, that comes to what, $2 a brush? That's cheaper than Morphe. <coughs> But it's even less than that because you get the brush cup. So let's say the, you know what, don't don't even get me started. I'm not gonna do the math. I'm not gonna sit here in front like I am Rain Man. I can't do, no, I'm not doing them numbers in my head. So anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say <laughs> is this is a great deal. You get a pretty comprehensive brush collection. It's everything that you need to get started with makeup you get a place to keep them 
and each brush is less, literally less than two dollars a piece. I absolutely recommend this to get started. I think that this is a amazing place to start. And that is it for today's video and the first episode of my Makeup for Beginners series. I hope that this video helped you. Matter of fact, if you found value in this video, go ahead and click the like button. It helps me out a lot and it puts my videos in your feed so you see my face more often. I appreciate you for watching. If you've made it this far, first of all, thank you. And second, put the, the waving emoji. Just, I don't know, just say hey. Hey. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up because I imagine if you made it this far in the video, you've enjoyed the content, right? Yeah. Okay. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and ring the bell so you know when I upload. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I enjoyed myself. I hope you found value in this video. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and throw them down below. In the meantime, I will see you in the next video.